So the most uh, exciting uh, development is that in about a week, on January 22nd, um, the Earth will be between three eye atlas and the Sun. And that is to a precision of uh, uh, 0 0.69 degrees. Mm. A very precise alignment that we are very fortunate to have. And, uh, this observation on the 22nd of uh, January will allow us to infer the nature of the particles that are being shed. And moreover, there is a very unusual anomalous polarization of the light that uh, was detected from 3A Atlas several months ago. So we should be able to learn much more about the nature, the origin of this uh, unusual polarization. So all in all, we will be able to figure out uh, some of the anomalies of 3 Atlas uh, on the 22nd of January. And we should not take it uh, for granted because it may be decades before we have another object that is aligned so perfectly with the Earth-Sun axis. NASA has released stunning new images tonight showing a rare interstellar comet soaring through our solar system. NASA just revealed close-up images of Comet 3I Atlas, the rare comet first detected on July the 1st, the third confirmed visitor from another solar system to pass through our galaxy. The comet recently zoomed past Mars, captured by several NASA spacecraft as it came within 18 million miles. 3i Atlas will get no closer than 167 million miles from Earth next month before heading back into interstellar, interstellar space, never to return again. Something truly extraordinary and deeply concerning is happening in our solar system's backyard. The interstellar object, 3i odd slash Atlas, is surrounded by bizarre metal anomalies that defy known astrophysics. And here's the kicker, they're quadrupling in size and number with unprecedented speed. This isn't just a curious scientific observation. It's a rapidly unfolding crisis that has NASA bracing for a potential devastating impact on Mars. It's just a matter of weeks before the unique interstellar comet, known as 3i odd slash Atlas, is expected to pass closest to the Sun between the orbits of Mars and Earth. The scale of these growing metallic forms is simply staggering and their origin remains a profound mystery. To put it mildly, the implications of this celestial drama are staggering. NASA's Martian nightmare began with the first visual confirmations. High-resolution images from powerful telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope began to show tiny, indistinct shapes clustered near the comet's nucleus. At first, many scientists thought these were just processing artifacts, perhaps dust grains, or even a trick of the light from the comet's outgassing. But as observational time increased, and with it the clarity of the data, the true nature of these anomalies became undeniable. They were distinct, reflective structures, seemingly solid and definitely not natural comet fragments. The most shocking fact is that these structures appeared to have geometric shapes, a detail that immediately raised eyebrows and fueled rampant speculation across the astronomical community. The situation turned from perplexing to alarming when scientists realized these bizarre metal anomalies weren't static. In fact, they were growing, and not just growing, but multiplying at an exponential rate. Initial observations showed perhaps a dozen small metallic objects, each roughly the size of a small car, or about 15 feet across. Within weeks, the number had jumped to several dozen, and their individual sizes had expanded to that of a small house, or around 40 feet. Now, with data from the past few months, the numbers have not just doubled or tripled, but quadrupled. We are looking at hundreds of these structures, some now stretching over 200 feet, floating eerily close to 3i Atlas. What many overlooked is the sheer consistency of this growth, a pattern that points to something far more organized than random cosmic processes. The implications are staggering. For one, the composition of these objects is baffling. Traditional comets are icy bodies, a mix of frozen water, carbon dioxide, methane, and other volatile compounds often embedded with dust and rock. These metallic anomalies, however, suggest something entirely different. Metals like nickel, iron, and even rarer elements seem to be a significant part of their makeup. This challenges our understanding of comet formation and evolution, especially for an object originating from another star system. Could this be a type of interstellar object, previously unknown to science? The primary concern the one that has NASA scientists working around the clock, is the increasingly plausible threat of a Mars impact. 
3 i Atlas is currently on a trajectory that brings it perilously close to the red planet. While astronomers initially calculated a near miss, the presence and expansion of these metallic anomalies change everything. These aren't just tiny specks, they are now significant objects, each carrying immense momentum. If even a fraction of these structures were to detach or be flung from the comet's gravitational influence due to some unknown internal force, they could become independent impactors. The danger isn't necessarily a single massive collision, but a potential bombardment from a swarm of metallic objects, turning Mars into a cosmic dartboard. The thing nobody tells you is that a single metallic projectile, even one the size of a school bus, hitting Mars, could kick up a dust cloud large enough to alter its already fragile atmosphere for decades. The consequences could be truly devastating. This isn't just about Mars. You see, it's about understanding the very fabric of our universe. The origins of these metallic anomalies are the key to unlocking this mystery. Many people are crazy about the idea of extraterrestrial involvement when anything unusual happens in space. And while scientists are quick to dismiss such notions without concrete evidence, the unusual nature of these quadrupling metallic objects makes it hard to completely ignore the whispers. The question that haunts the minds of many is if these anomalies continue to grow at this rate, what will they become? And how might that affect the future of our exploration of Mars? We're on the brink of discovering something truly unprecedented about the cosmos. The comet's behavior suggests it is far from a simple icy rock. Whispers of a new physics are emerging. The sheer acceleration of the metallic anomaly growth around 3i Atlas is what truly bewilders researchers. It's not a gradual increase, it's a quadrupling phenomenon meaning the count and size of these objects appear to multiply by a factor of four within observed periods. This exponential expansion defies conventional astrophysical explanations. You see, normal processes like outgassing or even gentle fragmentation wouldn't result in such a uniform, rapid multiplication of dense metallic structures. This leads many to ponder the unseen forces at play, forces that operate on principles we might not yet grasp. To put it mildly, this comet is behaving in a way that breaks all the known rules. One leading hypothesis suggests that 3i Atlas itself might be an entirely new class of celestial object. Perhaps it isn't a traditional comet at all, but something far more complex, a body with a core composed of exotic materials or driven by internal mechanisms unknown to science. The metal anomalies might not be separate objects, but manifestations of a singular larger entity. Imagine, if you will, a gigantic interstellar seed activated by the warmth and radiation of our sun, beginning to blossom in a way that produces these metallic appendages. This would require a profound re-evaluation of how interstellar objects are formed and what they're capable of. The most shocking fact is that if this seed theory holds, it implies a level of self-organization or inherent programming within a celestial body that is currently beyond our comprehension. Another intriguing line of thought delves into the possibility of localized, powerful electromagnetic fields. What if 3i Atlas is acting as a kind of cosmic generator, creating intense magnetic fields that are somehow coalescing free-floating metallic dust and gas into larger, structured forms? We know that space isn't truly empty. It's filled with charged particles and microscopic debris. If a mechanism exists on or within the comet to aggregate these materials, especially heavier elements, and then rapidly grow them, it could explain the quadrupling effect. These fields could be acting like a stellar forge, drawing in raw materials and shaping them. But then what powers such a colossal electromagnetic engine in an otherwise inert comet? This is the kind of scientific puzzle that keeps researchers up at night, and you can see this everywhere when you look at the frantic pace of data analysis. The idea of new physics is quietly being discussed in hushed tones among the scientific elite. When observed phenomena cannot be explained by existing models, it often means our models are incomplete. Could the bizarre metal anomalies around 3i Atlas be the first observable evidence of a previously theoretical force or interaction? For instance, some quantum field theories suggest that under extreme conditions, matter might behave in unexpected ways, forming stable, complex structures where none should exist. While highly speculative, the consistent and rapid growth of these metallic objects pushes the boundaries of what we consider naturally possible. The thing nobody tells you 
is that some researchers are already dusting off old, discarded theories that once seemed too outlandish to consider, looking for any explanation that fits the bizarre data streaming in from the deep space network. The red planet now sits directly in the strange object's path, Mars in the crosshairs, with the bizarre metal anomalies around 3 i to i ants quadrupling. The trajectory that once seemed like a simple near miss for Mars has transformed into a grave concern. NASA is now actively bracing for a potential impact scenario, developing contingency plans for what could be a devastating event for the red planet. This isn't just about a space rock hitting Mars, it's about understanding how a barrage of metallic objects could alter the very future of Martian exploration and potential colonization. You see, the stakes are incredibly high. Mars, a planet roughly half the diameter of Earth, or about 4,200 miles across, already faces a delicate atmospheric balance. Its atmosphere is incredibly thin, less than 1% as dense as Earth's, composed mostly of carbon dioxide. While it has a long history of being pummeled by meteoroids, especially during its early formation, a concentrated impact from numerous metallic objects, some hundreds of feet wide, could have unprecedented effects. The most shocking fact is that even a single metallic impactor moving at tens of thousands of miles per hour could carve a crater miles wide and throw vast amounts of dust and rock into the already tenuous Martian air. Many people are crazy about the idea of Mars as our next home, and understandably so. We have multiple orbiters, landers, and rovers meticulously studying its surface and atmosphere, looking for signs of past life and preparing for future human missions. The Perseverance rover, for example, is currently collecting rock and soil samples, hoping to bring them back to Earth. A significant impact event, or a series of them, could easily damage or destroy these invaluable assets. Beyond that, the dust kicked up from impacts could shroud the planet for months or even years, disrupting solar-powered missions and making any future landings incredibly risky. What many overlooked is that disrupting the Martian atmosphere could also accelerate the escape of what little water vapor remains, making the planet even drier and less hospitable. NASA's immediate concerns involve tracking the individual metallic anomalies with precision. The challenge is immense. These objects are relatively small compared to the main comet, and their sheer number, now in the hundreds and still growing, makes them difficult to monitor individually. The Deep Space Network's gigantic antennas, some stretching 70 millers across, are working overtime, collecting data that is then fed into supercomputers to model potential trajectories. But not all things are what they seem, and predicting the exact behavior of these multiplying metallic objects is proving to be an astronomical nightmare. The uncertainty, to put it mildly, is driving contingency planning to an unprecedented level. The possibility of planetary defense for Mars is being discussed, a concept usually reserved for Earth, while sending a mission to intercept the entire comet is out of the question due to time and distance. The idea of targeting individual larger metallic fragments is being explored. This could involve small, fast-moving spacecraft designed to nudge or even fragment the objects further, hopefully redirecting them away from Mars. However, the technology for such a rapid response, multi-target mission against rapidly multiplying objects, is still largely theoretical. Moreover, if these anomalies are somehow self-healing or self-replicating, a fragmentation attempt could inadvertently make the problem worse, creating even more impactors. It's a cosmic gamble with very high stakes. The mystery deepens, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. The response from NASA and other space agencies has been a testament to human collaboration. While the threat is serious, it has galvanized an international effort with telescopes and scientific minds across the globe, pooling resources and data. This shared challenge underscores the fact that in the face of cosmic unknowns, cooperation is our strongest tool. The development of advanced algorithms to track the rapidly multiplying anomalies and the accelerated research into potential mitigation strategies, even for Mars, represent a monumental leap in planetary defense thinking. This is a clear demonstration of humanity's ability to adapt and innovate under pressure. What many overlooked is how much of this work will lay the groundwork for protecting Earth from future unforeseen interstellar threats. The wow factor here isn't just the strange metal itself, but the sheer scale of the universe it hints at. 3i Atlas didn't just appear, 
It journeyed perhaps millions or even billions of miles from another star system, carrying its baffling cargo. Consider that the closest star system to our own, Alpha Centauri, is about four light years away, or roughly 23 trillion miles. For an object like 3i Atlas to traverse such immense distances and still arrive with these active multiplying structures speaks volumes about the enduring nature of cosmic phenomena and the incredible resilience of whatever processes are at work within it. And you can see this everywhere when you consider how many star systems are out there, each potentially launching similar objects. Looking ahead, the 3i Atlas event will undoubtedly reshape future space missions and astronomical research priorities. There will likely be an increased emphasis on detecting and characterizing interstellar objects much earlier in their approach, giving us more time to study them and, if necessary, prepare. There might even be missions specifically designed to intercept and analyze such objects up close, to finally get a definitive answer to their composition and origin. This could be the impetus for the next great leap in space exploration, driven by the profound mysteries brought to our doorstep from another star. The bizarre metal anomalies might just be the catalyst for humanity's deeper understanding of the galactic tapestry. This whole scenario makes you wonder, doesn't it? If these bizarre metal anomalies are quadrupling so dramatically, and NASA is now bracing for a Mars impact, are we truly seeing the full picture? Or is there a far grander cosmic design at play that we are only just beginning to grasp? It makes you question everything we thought we knew about the universe and our solitary place within it. The saga of 3i Atlas and its bewildering metallic anomalies challenges everything we thought we knew. What do you think is truly happening out there? Is this natural or something more?